Yeah. Alright, perfect. Right around, ciao. Hello, everyone. Luke Rice. Luke Rice is back. I'm back. We're not going to waste any time. Let's just get into it. What you're looking at is how do you fit, how do you remove these spot plugs from the amazing Z1000 SX from Kawasaki. Let's get into it. Yeah. It's showtime. <laughs> This right here, this area here is where the first plastic nib lives. But if then you come around the bottom, I mean right at the bottom the lower fairings, there's one more plastic nib. It's a little got little bits of dust and debris on it. It's quite tight, so we need to now attack this one and get it loose, and then we can work around to the last fixing on this side of the fa lower fairings. God, that green is sexy. That green is so pretty. Metallic. Oh, I hope you're all finding this pretty interesting. Here it cries. Oh. See, it's difficult when you're attacking it from this angle. I want you to all see that the drawing factor in is the fact that you also got the um, the lovely Kawasaki metallic green. And you've got to be kind of careful with your tooling not to scratch or attack, damage the paintwork. Even though this is an absolute bugger. Let's see how Kawasaki did it though, because by using plastic, one thing that you'd never worry about is corrosion. That is kind of the. Definitely the plus point when it comes to plastic. Oh! It kind of goes into the V. It goes, yeah. Um, help it down. It does, it goes into the... Thing from... <laughs> <laughs> it goes into the, like, the two slats and then gets underneath the head and yeah. then... Hey presto! Be Goes to show everyone on the crimes, the right tools do the job. But you actually need specialist tools in order to uh, remove these fixing. So we are using a six millimeter uh, Torx on this fixing over here. Bearing in mind to be careful around that lovely, sexy Kawasaki head of the boat. Ugh, fuck. Did you feel how talk down that was? Jesus. There's a reason why. <laughs> Fuck. That took a lot of power. But... Uh, when it comes to some of these um, fixings that you see here, so that's the Kawasaki Talks head, very pretty. Um, is when we begin to work towards the top of the Z1000 SX, is what you're going to notice is, and let's say, uh, pieces like these, these Torx fixings, do you notice that there's a clear, like a white clear circle around the Torx? That is a washer. And the whole point of that washer is to stop the the bolt of the fixing because it's metal from from tightening up and then digging into the fairing and damaging the fairing underneath uh the clear washer instead spreads the weight of the um bolt and doesn't let the bolt then chew up and uh, damage the fairing underneath so um really don't um definitely don't lose these clear washers or you're about to damage your lovely fairings when you put them back on and that would make you cry. So uh, don't do it to yourself. So it's a top, top tip here at Luke Ride. It's a mechanical professional tip. Do not lose these clear washers on your fairing uh, bolts and fixings. 
So cool. Okay, so that's that's removed. Let's see where we are now. Okay, so when you're working on side fairings like these and you've got uh, fixing that's in that's embedded into the panel, so it's in like a recess like this, deeper into the panel, what you don't want to do is be uh, lazy and damage the um, the lovely panel like here, especially blacks, because blacks just show up. Uh, any imperfections really badly. Don't ask for grinds, it's just there's something to do with the, um, the black and pigment. Um, so we're going to use an extension so we're, we're staying away from the panel um, and that way we're just keeping the paintwork safe from the tool knocking or straying into the panels and it just shows that you care, do you know what I mean? Oh, let's just get another tight one here. But it is free. And then when we're ready, we'll just move on to the hand tool. Okay, it's kind of a stubby, it's like a stubby talk, so it's kind of interesting. Remember, keep those clear washers, don't lose them. Well, um, this one here is a form that I need love, I need love. Passenger side fairing. And then we've also got one talks over here. Okay, uh, hello everyone, Luke Wright. Uh, so you are underneath the fuel tank of the Z1000SX. We've noticed a kinked uh, airline, oh no, uh, a drain line, uh, which is a worry. That's the actual fuel, fuel feeder. Uh, feeds fuel to the cylinders and then you've kind of got um, um, some other shit and so that's the actual airbox of the Z1000SX. Uh, the cylinder, of course the cylinders and the sparkies are further down. Um, I actually need to get this airbox out of the way uh, in order to make some progress to getting the, to those spark plugs. Um, so we have got um, what looks like a, a bolt that holds the uh, air box in place. We've also got another breather hole down here. We've got a metal plate in that area. Oh yeah, which, which lifts up, so that's quite straightforward. But we've also got these Phillips screws here. So making progress. This puppy hasn't had a spark plug change and God knows when the said thousand SX certainly deserves it, certainly needs it. And now for removing the air box and all these screws. Woo! Um, so this lovely Royal Enfield t-shirt to cover up your throttle bodies just so nothing falls into them. Not that we're going to be stupid enough to let a coil pack or anything fall into them. Just a precaution. So, to remove the wires from the coil packs, that is an example. I'll do it out in the open. Push down on the connector and pull. So push down, push down on the connector and pull. It shouldn't be any more difficult than that. Please don't pull on the wires, only the connector. To remove the coil pack, don't leave her up on it trying to get it out. What I'd ask you to do is grab the coil pack, rotate, rotate. Just do this a few times because the rubber is going to be pretty set in its ways. And then with a finger underneath the coil pack, it's either going to come out nicely or just don't leave her because what's going to happen is you're going to break the bottom of this connector here. Push down and retract. Some of them will be easier than others. Seals and put them back in. 
That's how long. It's come. That coral pack is been through some hard winters as well. Mm -hmm. I think I might have to undo it to get the coil pack out because it's in the way. And laying them out like so. So what I do with coil packs is just give them a clean with one brake cleaner. cleaner. It's up to you. Owner preference, really. So the reason the coil pack wouldn't retract easily is because the rubber here has kind of gone hard or whichever. And it's only this bit of rubber that we need to lubricate. I've noticed a few people think that lubricating this is of some value, but it isn't. very difficult with these uh, fuel injected engines to make much of a muchness about the state of the plugs because uh, mm, it's kind of not too black it make they, they're very difficult to read back in the days of carburation you could read what the plug was like compared to how the engine was running and you'd have an idea but with these modern fuel injected engines anyway that was so loose and uh, the if was or at least it feels like a little bit of lubricant there's no uh blow by and there's no corrosion mm, so it's good news that plug could go again if you really wanted it to if you went no it's now being uh, removed ngkrs <laughs> lazy I'm just saying you know the realities of it are somewhat different so 
So again, I'm swapping, I'm going 16 millimeter universal joint with a short extension because we remember coil pack. Oh. Coil pack in this plug was like no Ready. fun to get to. Like stupidly in the way. Jesus. It is just a one massive great big junction and Kawasaki just kind of went, like, I'm just going to put it over a spot of plug. <laughs> hope you enjoyed that one he luke rose is very sorry that he couldn't do a better workshop video luke rose really hoped that he'd made a better workshop video but once he'd gone through all of his footage luke rose just went oh bugs <laughs> some of the positioning that luke rose took to film was just stupid it didn't bug so luke rose could only use what he had, the best bits, what he had from that workshop video. It is actually a very, very big job. Luke Rice didn't realise what a big job it was. And I mean, that is the joys of when you have a third motorcycle, the amount of penalty to get out of the way or, have, or need to reinstall in a certain way, in the way you found it. Yeah. It's actually pretty hard, and, and being Kawasaki, being pinpoint precision engineering. <laughs> the engine is compact, everything's really tight together, there's no space to work with. Yeah, high performance. And, and Kawasaki engineering. Very amazing. You totally Christ loves Kawasaki, can't you? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, Luke Rose needs to change his cup at some point. Because it's the K cup and we can't be having that. Alright. Oh fuck it. Just give Luke Rose a coffee, damn it! <laughs> oh my god! They killed Kenny! You bastard! Oh, we need straws! We're like chuck over ourselves, aren't we? Yeah, but oh but, <laughs> Oh dear, we can to get his coffee today. Damn it. The way we... The little rascal has spirit. Has water. This is the end of the trail for me. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, kid.